Okay, let us see how we handle this theory we have projection from a height above the ground, specifically on an angle above the horizontal, as you can see there in the question. So this one is giving us also another thinking. So it says a part was projected from a point F with a speed this at an angle with theta, where cos theta is that. The point B on a horizontal ground is vertically below and AB you see point B is vertically below A. This one the equation. The point B on a horizontal ground is vertically below A, as you can see, and AB is 45. AB is 45 as you see. After projecting the part for moves the freely under gravity, passing to the point C, 30 meters above the ground. This point C is 30 meters above the ground and lands at the point B as you can see there. Given that the particle passes through C with the velocity of this, find the value of U. They want us to get this initial. Now, there, we can draw a simple sketch. You know, whenever they give us B, meaning that they are giving us B at this point, so our V here is going to be 24.5 meter second. And if they give us that, we know how we get to B whenever we reach at that point. So now, always, if I have this, and then they are resolving this. This is dx and this is dy. So they are giving us, this is our point C, they are giving us velocity there. And this velocity, you know how if we have this, you know that we are going to get d squared equal to u, then plus dy squared. From the previous question, I think this is okay. Now they are giving us this, but you know that all these two, they are having connection with u. How? Because you know that using V equal to U plus FT, now our VX will be equal to what? To UX plus 0T. Because in our horizontal motion, always acceleration is zero. But our VX, we know that it's given by UX, which is U cos theta. Now they are giving us cos theta. So our VX here will be equal to cos theta, which is now cos theta here, which will be u into 4 over 5, which will be o u over 5. And this from here, we need this square. So this square root x will be 16 u squared over 25. And that one is done. When we come now, if we want to get our v y, remember our v y will be equal to u y now minus d t and now you see this one i don't have time so i can't use this one so what am i going to use i know that i can use v squared equal to u squared plus 2 a s here because here so i don't have time so this one i don't want to bring in many unknowns so this one now won't work for me because of time time so i banish this method there so now I put this. So here, then minus b squared y b u squared y, then minus 2 b s. Now s at this time, this is our s. You know, from here, from this point here, and this, what is the distance there that this part has covered? You know, if from here up to here is 45, and from here up to here is 30, mean that from here up to here, the part was just covered 15 meters. But remember it's below the ground the, the initial point of projection so we are going to take it as a negative. So from here this is our s where our s now is going to be negative 15. Why negative? Because it's below the point of projection. So mean that from here up to here remember from here up to here this placement is zero because it's going and then coming back. So they ask me this the displacement from here up to here is zero because it's still at the same ground but when both below here, means that this one will be negative 15 because it's going below the point of projection. So putting it here, my V squared Y will be equal to minus Y. Our U Y is always U sine theta squared then minus 2 into 9.8 then into negative 15. But know that our sine, how do I get sine? Remember, if they give me this cos theta, they told me that 
cos theta whole square over 5. So if I draw a rectangle triangle with the ends, so I can easily get if this is theta, and yes, it is four. This one is five. So this one is going to be three. So from here, and this is our sine theta is going to be three over five. Putting it there, now my v squared y will be this one is going to be now u, which I am looking for, and this one is going to be three over five. Oh yeah, then minus, when you simplify the whole of that, we are getting negative negative to give us a positive 294. So our b squared y from there is going to be when you square you get 9 u squared over 25 then plus 294. So now I have this. I also have this. But remember, they gave me this real state, B. Remember that our B is here, 24.5. So, now substituting in this formula, uh, my B squared would be B squared X, then B squared Y. So I need, I have this. This one now, the only one I have is here, which I can easily get, which will be 16U, squared over 25 then plus b squared y 9u squared over 25 then plus 294 so from here you see when I take this beside from here I will now 24.5 squared minus 294 I take this beside equal it to 16u squared plus 9 u squared, the whole over 25, the same way as same. So when you say 20, so this one is going to give us 306.25 equal to 2, this will be 25, divided by 25 will be equal to u squared. So i squared, from there we shall get be going to <laughs> it's a repetition but then I have no problem so our u will be 17.5 meters per second so after getting that now we have got our u direction at point c now our direction we call this one alpha so they want this direction at point c remember this is our point c there so they mean you need to get b one so our alpha will be given by tan inverse of v y over v x. So how do we get v y? You see that from here our v y is here. Where is it? It's here. So remember our v y. We shall take the square root. So our v y will be the square root of the whole of this. Now two okay, nine u squared over 25 now plus 294 but we have our u squared it's here putting it there we shall get this as 9 into our u squared is there 3 0 6 point 2 5 then plus 294 over 25 so our v1 from there, it's going to be so here I'm getting twenty points one zero five of zero six meters per second. So I have my view. I have my dx. My dx. Remember, it's here. It will be the square. Okay. But you can see our bx from here. It's just equal to 4 u over 5, which will be 4 into our u, 17.5, the whole over 5. So our bx here is going to be 14 meters per second. So, meaning from here, my alpha will be 
Dein Hinweis on hope. Twenty point one zero six twelve over fourteen. For my alpha the direction. I'm getting fifty five point one five degrees. So that would be the direction. This is our part B, not A. This is our part A. Okay, so after getting the direction at part four, parts, this is the direction. Then they are asking me to get distance C, B, D. So our B, D. Remember our B, D. It's the distance from here up to when the part four has reached this point. So there I use the second equation plus a half at squared. Now my S, my SX will be UXT. Then plus a half horizontal distance for evaluation is zero. So my is that my SX is the distance you want, this distance of horizontal distance there, which is BD. So my BD will be for our UX. What is our UX? Our UX. My UX, you know, my UX is given by U or theta, then times T. Now, you see, we need T. T, now to get T, which equation can I use with it? I mean, so you see, this equation has this, this, and then this. So this one is the best I can use to get T. So from BY equal to UY minus B T. So you say then T, so meaning my, my T will be bring this, okay, take this beside B U Y and take this beside Y over B. So which will be now my U Y my U Y is going to be U sine minus B Y over B. So our T will be U, which is now 17.5 into sine, which is 3 over 5, minus BY. Our BY is 20.106. The whole over 9.8. So our T here will be. So you see, I'm getting my T as, sorry, is there and then, sorry, I'm moving here, because V, sorry, our VY, we have our VY, our U, Y, U, sign, our U, yes, then sign, then minus B, Y, yes. Okay, now we start from here, we need the time to cover this distance. So from here up to here. So meaning there, we need our time to cover the whole of this distance, 45. So this one won't give us that. So meaning we go to another formula, which is going to be now this formula. Because it's that we have already have we have this distance here. So meaning they are going to use the second equation, which is SU T plus a uh, half AT squared. So my SY here will be UY T minus a uh, half B T squared. So my SY, now it's at this one, the distance we are going to cover, but it sits down the only point of projection, which would be negative 45 equal to our UY. Our UY is going to be U, which is okay, U sine theta T minus a uh, half 9.8 T squared, which we can easily say this is negative 45 equal to 17.5. This will be 3 over 5 
t n minus 4.9 t squared. And now when you put this as 4.9 t squared, now when we take this the other side, we have So this will give us negative 10 0.5 t n minus 1.5 equaling 0. So they are the values of t you get. Now you put this on a bulldozer. You put this on a bulldozer, then you get these values of t. So you are getting 59.9998. Sorry, 998, which you can really round out. Our B is 60 meters. So that's how we handle that. And remember, they asked you to get the total distance, or it's supposed to get or it's the time for the whole right from up there. And then that will be our, then after getting it, you come and use it there. So that's it, members. We are going to see more examples and more tricks about this. Then we shall go to when we have low, the horizontal.